Hi, everybody. Congratulations. We made it through the first week of classes together. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is apologize for um, sending you guys an email and publishing a little bit later today than I had in originally intended. I had to drive my husband to the Richmond airport this morning because he's on a work trip. So I had to wake up at 3 30 this morning to take him and drop him off and I am just getting back. Um, so for this week you will see in your instructions, um, instructions for week two, um, there's not a ton of stuff that you guys have to look forward to, um, but there will be a lecture and lecture notes on rhetorical analysis, rhetorical situations, and rhetorical devices, all of which um, we will, um, which, which is basically the beginning of our first unit. Um, I'm asking you guys to read the article, Why America is Self-Segregating. And I talk about that article during the lecture, so please take an opportunity to listen to that or read that before um, you get kind of get started with watching the material for this week. And for those of you who still don't have the book, this is a copy of the article. This is probably the last week that I'm going to provide you guys with the reading material because by then you should probably have your book. Um, you're also responsible for a reading quiz. It's a quick, I think it's four, three, four questions on um, the reading that I'm asking you guys to do um, for why America is self-segregating. You're also responsible for a discussion board that you'll see and you can read the prompt. And um, the other thing that I do want to mention is the summary response for the other side is not dumb. I have to apologize because let me go back in that really quickly. You'll notice a, a couple of changes in there. I apologize profusely um, to you guys because I had uploaded a PDF file which I thought was the article that um, I, I wanted you guys to read for those of you who don't have the book yet and it has been brought to my attention thank you thank you thank you thank you um, to the student who brought this to my attention that I had accidentally uploaded uh, another student's um, another student's summary response from, from last semester instead of the actual article because they were titled the same and I have too many files on my computer. So I apologize for any confusion. So there in the prompt, you'll see now the article that you are supposed to read and supposed to summarize. And because it was my mistake, and um, <laughs> it's no wonder, I, I, I'm surprised that nobody else emailed me and, and, and let me know that I didn't upload the PDF file. I uploaded someone's actual summary response. So um, anyways, and because of my mistake, and in case there's any confusion or, or whatnot, I have given you guys until uh, the 27th to get the summary response done. So um, that's a couple of extra days because it's I feel terrible. So um, please forgive me. Know that I it was not intentional, and these types of things don't usually happen. So um, please let me know if you have any questions about what's on the schedule for this week, or if you have any questions about um, rhetorical analysis. I also do want to mention too that you'll also see appear in your uh, modules this week, the unit one, the major assignment, and this is the prompt for oops, your first essay, your first major essay. And in here I have a little explanatory video, the prompt, and the due date. So um, don't freak out too terribly much because, you know, this is not due for another four 
ish weeks. So um, this is kind of my way of, of letting you guys know this is where we're headed. And these are um, basically everything that I'm talking about this week is all going to lead up to um, this final paper. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. And um, for those of you who have scheduled meetings with me, I look forward to talking with you guys later on this week. For those of you I've met already, uh, it's been great. And um, please don't hesitate to email me any of your questions um, or concerns that you may have. Um, I'll be in touch with you guys later on this week. And I hope you have a wonderful Monday.